listening to this podcast may cause extreme happiness. Hello again to all my wonderful listeners. Yes, all two to three of you. This is the SPCC Distance Learning Cool Tool of the Week. My name is Jason Thomas. Today we're moving on to the third part of our four-part series in the video creation for education. Today is about screencasting. Screencasting is just recording what's on your screen and including some audio and music with it. Why would you want to use a screencast? Well, here's a couple ideas. One, you could add some audio to a PowerPoint, like I'm doing right now, and put that out there on Moodle for students. You could show how to do something on the computer or in Moodle. Say you have a piece of software or a website that you want to demonstrate for students, you could use that. And like I said, this is a screencast you are watching right now. So in essence, it's just a good way of putting visuals with audio, something you're doing on a computer. And how you can record this, there's a couple different ways. One of them is to use a piece of software such as Jing or Camtasia. Or, if you don't want to install anything, you can use a web-based service called Screencast-O-Matic, which is what I'm going to show you today. And when you use Screencast-O-Matic, you can save that file to your computer, or you can even automatically upload it into YouTube. So the benefits of the screencasting is that you can create the screencast with any computer with internet. You don't need to install software, and you've got those options I talked about before with YouTube and with saving to your computer or a flash drive. So without further ado, here is Screencast-O-Matic. So what I'm going to do is first go to the Screencast-O-Matic site. It's www.screencast-o-matic.com. Funny name for a great site, and it takes you right here, which is their Screencast-O-Matic website. So all you're doing is you're going to record what's on your screen. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to record my Internet Explorer window. So to get started, you click Start Recording. And it'll take you to a website. It may ask you to install a plugin or ask you to do something. If it asks you, just click Sure. I promise it won't hurt you. Nothing bad will happen. All right, it says ready, and what it does is it puts a little prompt on your screen, which I'm dragging around. I just clicked and dragged in this little black box, and a dotted line. This dotted line, as you may figure, is what you're going to record. So I'm going to set this using these little boxes in the corner. You can drag its size, you can change it. I'm going to record just what's in my Internet Explorer window, like that. And now at the bottom, you can see on the left there's a record button right here you can see my microphone is working because it's going boom 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 you can see what dimensions I'm using which is just the area of the screen and if you want to you could choose a preset which is a specific size they give you you can record your webcam if you wanted to record the webcam so you could use this and this is the button to close it in case you made a mistake and you really don't want a screencast but we do because it's awesome so I'm gonna screencast so what I do is I'm going to set myself up. I'm going to screencast how to get to the distance learning site. So I'm going to open a new window, and I'm going to show them how to do it from here. So all I've got to do is click the record button. It'll give me a countdown, thankfully. And now I'm recording. You can see I'm recording. It tells me how long I'm recording. My maximum is 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, today we are going to go to blah, 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 blah the site and then tell them uh, from here you're going to want to go to future students click on distance learning and from here you'll see the distance learning site which is home of such awesome awesome people as Jason Thomas and a bunch of other really cool people so I'm done I can hit pause if I need to take a break so right now I wouldn't be recording but say I need to get a drink of water I need to cough and I didn't want to be my screencast I could use pause and then I'm like <coughs> okay I'm done click this again and I can start recording but I'm gonna say I'm done so you click done and what it'll do is if I go back to the screencast site it shows me a preview of what I recorded and gives me all these options I can upload it to the Screencast-O-Matic site which is their hosting site I can put it on YouTube via YouTube Superstar get a bunch of million hits or I can click export movie which is saving it to my hard drive so if I click that it asks me what format I want to use I'd suggest one of the first two and then click export it'll process it 
and then it'll give you a save and I'm going to say my video save and that's it I'm not going to bore you with the exporting but you'll see it goes pretty quickly and when you're done you'll have a computer file there it is it's done it's right here on my desktop and I can play it with Windows Media Player brilliant that's it thank you so much for watching so as you all probably know my name is Jason Thomas. This has been the SPCC Cool Tools Podcast. My contact information is as follows. jthomas at spcc.edu. Skype is Epic Thomas. My phone number is 704-290-5860. And my blog where you can find this podcast along with all the others I create is http colon slash slash manywelps.wordpress.com. Thank you so much for watching and remember there is no spoon.